Today I'm going to show you how to create a highlighted area effect within a video using DaVinci Resolve. So here we are within a fresh Resolve project and I'm going to kick things off by dragging the footage I want to create a highlight effect on into the media pool. Now we've got our footage into the project we can drag it down into the timeline area where we'll make our adjustments to this clip. For this example I've got a simple screen recording where I want to create some highlighted areas to guide viewers through my tutorial easier. After we've got our clip into the timeline we can head into the effects panel and select the generators category. From here we can click and drag a solid colour generator into the timeline on the track above my video clip. Next I'm going to select the solid colour generator and head over to the inspector tool where I'll reduce the opacity of my solid colour down to 50% using the slider under the composite tab. Now we have this dark overlay over our footage. Next I'm going to right click the solid colour clip within our timeline and select new compound clip. Feel free to give it a name such as highlight effect or whatever's relevant for your project. Now we have our dark overlay converted into a compound clip, we can head into the colour page at the bottom here. Now we're in the colour page we can see the different clips within our project just here. One being our screen recording footage and the other being the dark overlay we just created which should be titled compound clip. If you can't see your clips on the colour page then ensure you have clip selected here at the top which will toggle the clip viewer either on or off for the colour page. Next I'm going to select our compound clip we created as this is the clip we want to create our highlight effect on. Once we've selected the compound clip I'm going to head into the window tool just here which looks like a circle with points around it. Depending on the type of highlight shape we want to create we have a few different options to choose from but I'm going to keep things simple and go with a nice circle. If we click the circle icon we can see now that a circular mask has been created on our dark overlay. However, we need to turn this into an inverted alpha clip for the highlighted shape to actually appear. To add an alpha channel to our compound clip, I'm going to head up to the node graph here, right click anywhere in the space and I'll select add alpha output. A little blue circle should have appeared in our node graph now, which is the output for any alpha channels on this particular clip we've created. What we want to do next is click and hold our mouse on the blue square here attached to the node where we've added our circular mask. We then want to drag our mouse to the alpha output we've created to complete the path which will allow the alpha output to work on our clip. Now the alpha path has been linked up to the alpha output we added, we can now see the dark overlay we created is now only showing within the circular mask. However, we want it so everything outside the circle is dark, then anything within the mask isn't, creating our highlight effect. To invert the mask, all we have to do is click this button here, which looks like a circle inside of a square, to invert the mask we created. Now our highlight effect has been created, we can use our mouse to click and drag where we want the highlight to appear on our footage. And we can also use the handles around the mask to resize and reshape our mask if we wish to do so. The red handles on the outside will adjust the softness of our mask, whereas the main white handles will adjust the actual mask size itself. Once we're happy with the shape and positioning of our highlight, we can head back into the edit page at the bottom here to adjust the duration of our highlight effect. In our timeline we can simply grab the edges of our created highlight to shorten it down to however long we want the highlight mask to appear for over our clip. I also like to use the little white faders on the clip here to create a nice subtle fade in and fade out on the highlight effect so it doesn't just suddenly appear. If we play our clip through we can now see we've created a nice looking highlight effect over our screen recording footage. If you want to create several highlight clips within your project then feel free to hold Alt or Option on Mac then click and drag the clip to create a copy of it within your timeline. If we head back into the colour page we can see the additional compound clip we've just copied within the clips area. From here we can simply select the new clip and move around our mask to wherever it needs to go next on the footage. You can make as many copies as you need for your project meaning you only need to mess around creating the inverted alpha mask just the once for your project. And that just about covers it, you now know how to create a highlighted area within your DaVinci Resolve project. In addition to this, animations can also work wonders for keeping things broken down and streamlined on your own content. You can create them easily with videos. Videos is the online video creation platform that lets you create customised animations ranging from intros to lower thirds to full on marketing videos just to name a few. If you're looking to take your content up a notch without the headache of complex software then you can give it a go for absolutely free just by following the link in the description box below. Thanks very much for watching and as always happy creating.